Hello, we're gonna see how to mesh solid uh, body, but first we need an XT file that we can get from SolidWorks. When we are in Patreon, we go to new, then we go to our, our folder and put the name that we want for our document. We're gonna put example. Click OK. Then we're gonna check that the standard parameters are OK. And then we click OK. We have to import our file. So we go to File, Import, and search for our XT file. Then apply. We accept and click OK. And there is our part. As we can see, it's only lines. So we go to shed it so we can see it as a solid part. Now, we have to mesh it. So we go to the meshing tab and change the object to mesh and the type to solid. Then we select the full component, uncheck the automatic calculation, and then set from value 0 0.5 and click apply. Now we can see that our object is meshed. Then we have to put some displacement constraints. So we go to put a name as fixed, input data, and we're going to put on translational 0, 0, 0, and then click OK. Then select the application region, and we're going to select the inside faces of the of the holes. So as you can see, there is the inside face there is one, so we shift and select the other one, and there is added the other one. We click add and then OK. Then we click apply. And we can see that the constraints are in the body. Now we add the pressure, we set as name pressure and we go to input data. We're gonna put 2,500 and then click OK. Go to select application region and we're gonna select the outside face of the ring. As you can see in the video is that one. So you click it, then you click add and then OK. Then you click apply. And as you can see, the pressure is in the model as well. Now we have to select some properties for the material. So we go to properties, isotropic, and then we set the name to steel. Input properties, and we're going to put the 30 million for the elastic modulus and 0.3 for the potion ratio. Then we click apply. And then we go to solid so we can make our part a solid and we put a name we're going to put trust then we go to properties and select the steel for the material we click ok and then we go to select application region we're going to select the entire body add and then OK. Then we click Apply, and there is our trust. Now we're going to analyze it. So we go to Analyze, Entire Model. We check that the parameters are OK. The solution type we need is a linear static. So we're just checking that everything is OK. The subcases is the default one. So just checking that it's there, and then we click Apply. We ignore this window because we have to go to our Nastran program. So we go to our desktop and there is Nastran, so we open it. We select our BD file and we open it and then we click run. We wait to the program to respond and it, when, it hit, when it has done, we click on the pattern again. Then we click on XDV. We have to select our XDV file. 
so we put on select a result file and we click on our file we click OK and then we click apply we select under fetch result displacements translational and under deformation result displacements translational as well then we click apply and we can see that the analyze is done and there is an image of how our model could be thank you for watching